Hey guys, I wanted to give you a quick update here. It's been a, sort of the end of the week from the last video that I posted. And as you can tell, we uh, we cut this cut this all in with a side cutter and uh, laid in a pallet of sod. We put sod here. I left that open, um, mainly because I still wanna see how much this fills in on its own. But like I said, I'm trying to make things look a little better for them. Uh, and we also filled it up here. Interesting thing that I'll show you guys. If you guys recall, I um, I wound up moving that bed back to here because this area stays shaded. This area over here actually gets, um, you know, a few hours of sun. The sun comes up over the house this way. And so this area gets it during the day, but over in here where I'm standing, it got very little. So we filled in here, but what was interesting was when we killed all the POA off last year, this was all POA. That's what we thought. But man, um, there was a little bit of zoysia coming in here. This area here really came in with a lot more zoysia than we realized um, until we killed off all the POA around it and everything. And you could really tell when the, when the zoysia woke up. So uh, very cool that that actually came in. So I think this will all fill in the little gaps down at the bottom here. Um, we'll fill in this season. I think all this will come in, but we went in and put the sod here and where I'm standing because, um, you know, this area is a little more challenging. So my thought here is that even though it didn't germinate, it didn't have enough sun to really germinate well. Um, and like I said, this is, I think a lot of the seed ran down. Um, we'll see how the sod does here. So I'm um, keeping it wet and putting things in, um, and, uh, you know, putting, putting water on it a couple couple times a day for a couple weeks here and we'll see how it does but we'll still get some pretty good data on this front area here the sun sits as you can tell the sun's sitting now uh, up above there so that gets quite a bit of sun in the afternoon um, and uh, the tree needs trimming a little bit anyway that'll open it up but we'll see how that grows in um, and then these areas up here we'll see how it fills in this season once again season two uh, very interesting video coming up here very soon um, <laughs> I'm doing an experiment here. You know, these are two by five rolls of sod. And so uh, rather than put a couple over there, there were a couple left and that's another reason I wanted to see that grow. So I took the last two rolls of sod and I've taken them out back. And I am physically cutting them into squares and then making holes um, with a plugger. And I'm uh, putting those in the ground and making my own plugs. I realize that's probably not as good as plugs you would buy because they're not as thick and deep. Um, but you know what, at nine bucks um, or so a roll, if you're buying them like a single roll, I figure it's worth it just to try it and see what happens. Um, plus I'm already finding, I just I just got done basically doing that. Um, and we'll post that video uh, later. Um, but I mean, I wanna say that I got um, probably 75, 80 um, plugs. And I'm talking like four, three and three quarter, four, about four by four inch plugs out of that. Um, one strip. I've still got another strip left. So, I mean, it, there's a lot of plugs that can be made out of it. Now, the question is, will it work? You know, you can't dig them too deep, but we'll, and I'll post that video so you can see it here and you can see the progression on it because it's another test we can all do together. All right, well, um, I'll keep you guys posted, but the season's kicking off, so we'll see how it goes here.